When we think of the cloud, we typically imagine this unknown secret location where all of our data is stored, where we may just have no idea at all and take it for granted. In reality, the cloud is made up of multiple different locations all over the world with buildings full of servers. Now that we have that out of the way, why are we talking about this? What does the ocean have to do with data servers? Not a lot yet, but it is growing. Back in 2014, Microsoft started testing the idea of putting data centers underwater with Project Natic. In 2018, they iterated on the original design and put a larger underwater data center on the ocean floor for two years. Since then, China has begun construction. South Korea has shown off designs for their project. And other United States companies are throwing their money at this new proposition of moving the cloud beneath the waves. Let's look at why this is gaining traction. There are five major factors that make placing a data center underwater an attractive alternative. Cooling. All that available water makes for an excellent heat removal method and at no extra cost. On average, a land-based data center sees 40% of their energy consumption wrapped up in cooling, and being able to eliminate that cost means a much better profit margin. Latency. With around 50% of the world's population living within 120 miles or 200 kilometers of a coastal region, having data centers offshore allows quick response time to and from its users. Time to market. The time to build and deploy an underwater data center is far quicker than on land, meaning quicker access to the servers and ability to make money faster. On land, it can take anywhere from a year to 18 months to build a data center. Microsoft was able to have theirs operational in 90 days. This time is believed to be able to be done even quicker over time. Reliability. There are several factors that lend to a more reliable data center. So far, all the data centers have had no human intervention, so therefore no bumping, moving, etc. of the servers or other networking equipment. The controlled environment eliminates drastic temperature changes or unnecessary humidity levels. In the case of Microsoft, they used dry nitrogen as their gas of choice which slowed any corrosive effects that oxygen may have had on the equipment. Sustainability Due to the nature of these data centers being offshore, they are generally powered by a renewable energy source whether that be wind, tidal, hydro, or solar. Not only making them a green form of energy, but able to take some of the strain off of the mainland's power grid. Also due to the fact they are cooled by the surrounding water, these data centers are not having to use local water sources for cooling. Which has been an issue in the past years for data centers near the west coast of the United States. Data is not slowing down. And companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and others are only getting bigger and needing more and more storage space for all of the pictures, videos, and business applications that we use on a daily basis. So, is the ocean the answer to this growing problem? There has been talk by some of a new blue revolution, or blue economy where businesses shift operations and look towards the ocean. Data centers may be on the first wave adopting this new frontier. For more information about this or other underwater habitats, contact ASC at AtlantisSeaColony.com.